Qatar Biomedical Research Institute is a leading research institute under Hamad bin Khalifa University. It has been established in 2012 by Qatar Foundation. Kubai aims to improve and transform healthcare for the people of Qatar and the region. Kibari embarked down the road of NCDs. NCDs is a global health challenge. According to WHO reports, NCDs kill about 41 million people each year, equivalent to 71% of the total death. Ali actually was a perfect little boy. He was the fifth out of my five kids, and he was developing normally, but when he became one and a half years old, we started noticing that he's not looking at us anymore. As a physician, I thought, my boy is normal. There's no problem with him. If he has something wrong, I'll, I'm gonna recognize this before anyone. But unfortunately, I continued denying that there's something wrong in my child until my sister told me, one day you have to check him. He needs help. According to a study published in 2015 entitled Impact of Non-Communicable Disease in the State of Qatar, the top five NCDs that affect Qatar in terms of economic burden and disability adjusted life years are cardiovascular diseases, mental health and behavior disorders, cancer, respiratory diseases, and diabetes. When he was diagnosed, I came to know that he has autism, a difficulty in learning, and he's delayed in his development. So uh, me and his father, we recognized that if Ali is not like his siblings, we have to treat him in a different way. Treating him means we have to put him in a system that suits his abilities. Renaud is the right school for Ali. Renaud was built and created just for kids like Ali. So I think this place creates the right environment for those kids so they can learn and be part of the society. I am an equine therapeutic instructor. I work in equine education department in Ashakab. Ashakab is under Qatar Foundation. Our department offers equine therapy lessons for 65 students from Renaud Academy. Ashakab organizes an equine therapy program for the first time in Qatar. So this is a first step, but sure is a big and important step, not only for the kids, but only for the family. They are starting to understand that therapy with the animals can help the kids. There are particular tools and techniques that have been established by our Neurological Disorder Research Center at QPI. One of them is eye tracking. This eye tracking is a technique that uh, diagnoses autism at the very early stage. QPI is in the process of validating this technology. It was originally developed by our collaborators Cleveland Clinic in the United States. We are working closely with them in the validation studies and by the end of this year, early next year, we'll be able to I think in Qatar, uh, people are getting more educated. They're more open to hear what the science can predict in the future. Definitely, I want them to accept our kids and accept their differences. And at the end, it's their choices. There needs to be better outreach, uh, not only related to the disease uh, with the highest prevalence and morbidity rates, but also regarding the value of research uh, and its direct and indirect impact that help our society and our people and their children and future and, and our population.